eight years ago. Davidson currently projected as a number 10 seed in bracketology by Joe Lunardi. They come in 3-0, and Richmond 1-2, and we're ready to go. Ron Groover, Pat Driscoll, and Burt Smith are officials this evening. Davidson in the black jerseys, Richmond in the white. Robert, so much shooting on the floor for Davidson. And there's a steal. That's what, that's what the Spiders do well for Richmond, and especially Jacob Gilliard, who didn't come up with that steal. But he's the all-time leader in D1 history. Are you kidding me? Grant Golden had that steal, and then on the fast break, Richmond turns it over. 20 seconds in, just underway. Robert Lee, Noah Savage with you from the Robbins Center in Richmond, Virginia. A little pressure early from Richmond. And even if it's just token, Robert, it takes the shot clock down so you don't have to guard the Davidson half-court offense as long. You make the possession 20 seconds instead of 30. Davidson has four double-figure scores in its starting lineup. Hanjun Lee, the team's leading scorer, takes it to the rim, lays it up and in. And that's what they do. Read every screen, take their time. Foster lawyers set the screen, and Hanjun Lee, just a beautiful curl, easy two to get himself going. Richmond, a veteran team with grad transfers, fifth, six years guys all over the place. Sixth-year grad student Grant Golden gets their scoring started. These guys are like Van Wilder. They've just been on <laughs> campus forever. I mean, they are professional college students, and... Grant Golden is such a great player, and he takes his time in the post. And right there, he, he surveyed, went to that jump hook, and you see why he likes watching Tim Duncan take from back in the day. That was a Tim Duncan hook shot. Michael Jones denied at the other end. Golden wide open for three. Couldn't get the roll, and rebounded by Hunjun Lee. This is Foster Lawyer, a Michigan State transfer shooting 50% from three-point range. Hey. Davidson, an elite offensive team. Yeah, and, and Foster Lawyer has been incredible lately. I mean, he was spectacular, 25 points against St. Joe's. He just puts pressure on you. And he, look, he doesn't need much time. An in, in inch of space, and you can count that thing. I mean, he is a elite shooter. Averaging 16 points a game, ninth in the Atlantic 10, also leads Davidson in assists and as we said fourth in the country at 50 percent from beyond the arc he's also a great locker room guy great leader he was he was voted team captain of davidson after only being on campus a couple of months and remember he's a former captain of michigan state where he transferred from so he just has that natural leadership ability jones underneath against the bigger tyler burton flips it up and in Jones, a senior, a junior from Woodbury, Minnesota, 12 and a half points a game. He's having a great season, incredible shooting season, but he takes good shots, and that contributes to that percentage is that he's got the great shot selection as well. Golden turns it over. Lee the steal on the cross-court pass. Second turnover for Richmond. Lee all the way to the rim, lays it up and in. I mean, he's every bit of 6'7", he can handle, and talking to associate head coach Matt McKillop before the game, when they recruited him, they, they thought his vision and his cutting were his strengths. They didn't realize he's a, such a great shooter, but that play he, he created with his vision and seeing where the opening was. Burton rises for three. Boarded by Sam Menenga, sophomore from New Zealand. Now, Richmond getting good shots so far when they haven't turned it over. Lee pulls up for three. Bang! Seven points already for Hunjun Lee. 9-0 run for the Wildcats. Making an early statement here. Off to the 11-2 start. This has been pretty much an uninterrupted four minutes of action to start the game. Wide open three for Richmond. Lee another rebound. Lee already was seven points and two boards. Well, Richmond's just got to stick with their stuff. They've gotten three wide open three point shots for good shooters. But sometimes the shots don't go. You got to stick with your stuff and trust yourselves. Inside for Luka Brekovic. Lefty off glass and in. And Chris Mooney needs a timeout. Everything's been easy so far for Davidson. It's been great cutting, and then he obviously 
Steph Curry of Davidson is number one, but he also likes Clay Thompson, and that's a Clay Thompson play right there. Coming off the down screen, easy money at 6'7. They told us he only took two visits, college visits, on his recruiting trail, and they were Davidson and Washington State, home of Clay Thompson. I mean, it, what surprised me early about him, Robert, is a lot of guys are listed at 6'7, but he's legit 6'7. He's, he's very big in person. Grace, the night mo nice move. He just checked into the game but couldn't finish the reverse layup. Grant Huffman in for Davidson. Wholesale subs for Richmond. And Coach Mooney gets a touch in the paint. They missed three open threes, so design play to get an easy one there. Gustafson is in. Also Nick Sherrod. Better defense this time by the Spiders. Six on the shot clock. Down to four. And the three is good. That was Desmond Watson, a freshman from Columbus who averages three points a game. And that was pretty good defense by Richmond, too. It was just a better shot by Desmond Watson over the top. Davidson, seven out of eight from the field for a team that is second or eighth in the country, I should say, 50% from the field. Sherrod, the open three, buries it. Much needed shot in the arm for Richmond. The sixth year senior, Nick Sherrod, averages seven a game. Yeah, Sherrod, who had two major knee injuries, came back, lost a ton of weight, got in shape, and rehab. Now, two years ago, he was 10th in the country in shooting, 44%. He's only at 35 this year, but he can really stroke the ball. Down to six on the shot clock. Huffman. This is Watson, who just made a three. He'll shoot another one. Hit the backboard, a shot clock violation. What does Richmond need to do to stem the tide, start getting some stops? Well, as much as you want to say, just stick with it. That shot was huge. Going in the basket, Nick Sherrod hitting that shot calms you down as a team. And now there's a big difference between 11 to 2, between 16 to 5. Now the ball's gone in the hoop. Stick with their stuff. They run the Princeton offense. They're going to get open looks. Another sub in for Davidson, Nelson Bochi Yeadum who averages about two points a game. And then on the defensive end, they've got to pick it up. I mean, Davidson's gotten great looks every possession. Good passing. And that's really what you expect out of both these teams. They're top two in the league in assists. Richmond number one, Davidson number two. Burton pulling his way to the rim and drawing the foul. With five on the shot clock. And you love the idea by Tyler Burton, which is... Shot clock's going down. Go towards the hoop. Don't shoot those desperation threes. It's the right call. Defender was not in legal guarding position. Nelson Boshiedem underneath. But this guy at the free throw line is going to play a lot of years professional basketball. Okay, he's got the body. He's wiry strong. He's just scratching the surface, and he's leading the league in scoring. I mean, he is a really special talent. And right now... He, he's slated as a second round draft pick But I think he's gonna go higher and higher as the year goes on Doug Sherman, thank you Iona beats Manhattan in New Rochelle, New York We're here at the Robbins Center in Richmond, Virginia Where Davidson is out to the early 16-6 lead Over hometown Richmond Spiders But it was 16-2 and Richmond is on a modest 4-0 run, taking it to the rim, laying it up, missing the shot. Was Bochi Yeadum, and Richmond on the run. This is Jacob Gilliard, the NCAA's all-time leader in steals, knocks down the three. He is Richmond's all-time three-point king with that shot. 271st three-pointer of his career, breaks the school record, and now a steal. Here come the Spiders, two on one, down the lane, Sherrod, off glass and in, and a foul. So Richmond has turned up their D the last couple of possessions, shoot the passing lane, and then Nick Sherrod waiting for the defender to commit, but Sam Menenga never did, and Menenga backpedaled himself into that foul. At some point, you got to make a play and either commit to the ball or commit to the wide open player to your right. So that was a smart play. 
by Sherrod, who it looked like he should have given it up early, but as a ball handler on the break two on one, you wait by Sherrod, who it looked like he should have given it up early, but as a ball handler on the break two on one, you wait for that defender to commit to you, and nobody committed. So he said, I'm going to walk right down Broadway, lay this thing in and one. Brankovic checks in, Sherrod completes the three point play. Richmond on a 10 0 run to cut what was a 14 point lead down to four. Davidson comes in 3 0 in the Atlantic 10, tied for first place with VCU. Richmond 1 2. Spiders were picked second in the preseason poll out of 14 teams. Davidson comes in on a 12 game winning streak, the longest in the country. Good patience here again from the Wildcats. Seven to shoot. Richmond has turned up the defensive pressure. Crowd appreciates it. Three on the shot clock. Moyer hoists a three. Rebounded by Gilliard. Sherrod from three. Couldn't get the bounce. And it's rebounded by Brankovic. He's trying to will it in. As soon as he left his hands, he knew it was short. Han Jun Lee is on the bench getting a break for Davidson. Watson another three. Gilliard taps the rebound to Sherrod. But it's just more great half-court offense. Even when they miss, they're getting open shots. Gilliard heating up back-to-back -back threes. And it's a 13-0 run for the Spiders. He's a veteran leader. That's what you need out of your vets. And a big answer from Michael Jones, a 45% three-point shooter. Who? Mike Jones. Having an unbelievable shooting season. And his stroke is so quick. I mean, he does not need a lot of time to get it off. Even as that guy. Gilliard is fouled. Let's catch our breath. 1915 Davidson. For those of you watching this game on ESPN pointers. Yes. In assists. And he's the NCAA's all-time leader in steals in Division I. 414 coming into the game. Yeah, we got to spend some time with him earlier today, and I was like, are you surprised that you've been this successful here at Richmond? And he's like, you never come to college and think you're going to set the D1 record right. in steals. But he said that he did know he's got a knack for it, and he's maximized that. He's leading the country in steals. He's seventh in the country in assists per game. I mean, there's nothing he doesn't do well. And the fact that he came back another year, he and Grant Golden, Nick Sherrod, they said, let's do this again. Let's see how far we can go. And this is like house money this year for them. Gilliard, second team All-Atlantic 10 last year, makes two out of three. He is a three-time All-Atlantic 10 selection. He's also the defensive player of the year as a junior and a three-time All-Defensive team selection as well. Hunjun Lee back in the game for Davidson. After a breather, early. Spinning to the rim, Brankovic. In amongst the trees. Nifty move. Rebounded by Golden, who's back in as well for the Spiders. And Brankovic's arms are absurdly long. And if you'll notice, Richmond isn't even thinking about double teaming him because they respect Davidson's shooting too much. So he's going to be able to do that tonight. Just take his time and get to his spot. Quick fire three from Gustafsson. And Lee the rebound. Nearing the midway point of an exciting first half so far. Brekovic tees up the three and scores. He's got that in his game, too. And they use him at the top of the key for pick and pops as well. But he's an excellent shooter from deep. Brekovic, third team, all Atlantic 10 in the preseason. Over 1,100 points in his career. A senior from Austria. Three from the corner. Gustafsson not shy. Back to back misses. Brekovic clears the glass. Here's Foster Lawyer, the Michigan State transfer, who's shooting 50% from three-point range this season. Fourth in the country. Davidson as a team is a ridiculous 42% from beyond the arc. That's number two nationally. Brankovic fumbled the ball, got it back, might have traveled. He did. Bob McKillop. The longest tenured head coach in the Atlantic 10. 33rd season, 620 wins, 375 losses. Has led the Wildcats to nine NCAA tournaments, and he is a 10-time conference coach of the year between the Southern Conference and the Atlantic 10. And unprovoked, Chris Mooney said that he thinks Bob McKillop's the best coach in the country.
He's like, if you want to learn how to coach, go to Davidson and spend some time with that guy. And that's that's high praise from another coach who's one of the best coaches in the country, Chris Mooney. Turnover for Connor Crabtree. Turnover lead. Burton the steal. Two on one. Burton fumbled the ball. Crabtree picks it up. Crabtree off glass and in. Yeah, fortunate for Richmond because Tyler Burton tried to go between the legs. He didn't need it. He should have just kept going right, and he had a two on one. So Tyler, Richmond fortunate. Tyler Burton is the Atlantic 10's leading scorer at 18 points a game. Also fourth in rebounding. Richmond had a 14-0 run early. Richmond is, or Davidson had a 14-0 run early. Richmond has tightened up the defense. Another turnover. Yeah, great anticipation by Nathan Ko. Read that back door beautifully. Well off the mark for Burton from three. It wasn't really fully open for that shot. Could have kept running the offense, get a better one. Early in the shot clock there for Tyler Burton, a 42% three-point shooter. Junior from Uxbridge, Mass., just outside of Boston. Three is up and in for Michael Jones, who continues to be red hot. He's got eight points. 44% yeah, coming into tonight from downtown. And it's just the constant motion of Davidson. They just rolling screens one after another. Eventually, someone's going to be open. Crabtree, another turnover. Lawyer to the rim. Couldn't get it to go, but he is fouled. Will send us to a timeout. But Davidson showing you why they're the second best shooting team in the country thing here. You know, my age, when you're 18 and you try to learn it. Number one, backdoor cuts, dribble handoffs, drift screens, and then the center gets the ball every time, whether it's low block, at the elbow, or the top of the key. And that's why it's been such a great offense for Grant Golden because he's such a cerebral player. He can really post it, he can really pass you, but Cutting is the centerpiece of the whole offense. Backdoor cutting, not only for yourself, but to get your teammate open who set you to screen. So, so most offenses, you're coming off every screen. The Princeton offense, you're cutting back door to get that screener open as well. How much of an advantage is it to have guys who've been running it for four, five, and even six years? Oh, wait. A, I wish they could come back three more years. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's... When you're a freshman, you know, your head is spinning. And by the time you're a senior, you figure out the wrinkles and how to score within it, how to have little trick plays within it with your buddies and that's why they're so good at it is that they believe in it but then they figured out how to make it work for their personnel in their game grace off the mark on the three lead the rebound it's interesting both these teams last game was against umass because of some of the COVID shutdowns things like that they each beat umass in their last game i talked to a member of the umass, co UMass coaching staff this morning as Lee will lay it up and in with the left hand and I asked him about the Richmond offense and he said you can't just take something away because once you do that they have a counter and then when you take that away they have another counter for that it's so complex and it's really difficult to defend yeah and it's it's scripted to some degree but then with, within the script it's all reads Gilliard missed the three KO the offensive rebound Sherrod down the lane flips it up and in eight points early for Nick Sherrod Yeah, Nick Sherrod. I mean this as a compliment. He, he's playing in slow motion because He sees the game so well that it's all set up with his vision And he, it looked like that was just a walk in the park with that floater from about 12 feet He, he is playing like a super senior or grad student where the game slows down for him the foul is called against Richmond's Isaiah Wilson his first and KO with a great tip out and then look at that floater. That's a 15-foot floater for Nick Sherrod Who's just played great he came in he banged the three he got the end one and then that set up that float game Sherrod tore his left ACL in November of 2018 tore his right ACL in October of 2020 As a foul will be called against Richmond's Gustafson his first he missed basically both of those seasons so he's back for a sixth year he's a Richmond product he played his high school ball at St. Christopher High School which is one mile directly east of campus and he's coming off a good game against UMass 12 points in 17 minutes eighth all-time in threes for the Spiders yeah, and he's he's already graduated but he's gonna leave here with a secondary education master's program 
and he already has an offer at St. Christopher's in Richmond when he leaves school. I mean, I, I still think he could play a little bit if he wants to, but hey, it's a violation. Lee traveled, and a good close out there by Richmond. Yeah, and that's what you got to do. As good as Hunjun Lee has been early in this game, putting the ball on the floor and cutting, his bread and butter is three-point shooting. You got to crowd him, make him do something else, and that time force a mistake. Something to keep an eye on here is turnovers. Davidson is among the 10 best teams in the country at not turning it over. Nine and a half a game. That was already their seventh turnover of the game. There's six minutes to go in the first half. K.O. down the lane off glass and in. First two of the game for Nathan K.O., fifth-year grad student from Montreal. Yeah, he scored a ton of points here, and he does it a little bit differently than some of his teammates because he really doesn't shoot the three. That time he turned a drive into a post move. Lee lets one defender go by, pulls up, too strong. Good rebound by Menenga. Second chance opportunity, Watson missed the three. Gilliard clears the glass. You see how good of a shooter Lee is. He thinks about the rim, and Richmond jumps. Gilliard's three, he got it. 11 points for Jacob Gilliard, already over his season average. He's saying, get on my back, guys. We need to make some shots, I'll make them myself. Gilliard with 11, Sherrod has eight. Back to a look and a foul. Chris Mooney can't believe it, nor can the Richmond bench. Yeah, Nathan Ko again playing great free safety on the back line of the Davidson offense, where they're curling, they look open, and then at the last second, Nathan Ko is going in and grabbing a steal. He got one clean earlier in the game. That one I thought was clean. He's just doing a great job of being all over the scout of Davidson and reading where the play is going before it happens. Eight turnovers already for Davidson. Almost impossible to believe. Nine and a half a game. They have eight already. Bob McKillop does not look happy. Yeah, and every time they don't turn it over, it seems like they're scoring. So right. it, it, it's... He's beside himself right now with the turnovers, and that was just pretty much an unforced error. Down the lane, Golden lays it up and in. Now, that's what I mean about the reads. Grant Golden goes over the screen. He sees the slip, and Jacob Gilliard saw it before Golden did. They were on the same page. They've been playing together for a long time. An 8-0 run now for the Spiders. Tip ball. Jones another three. He got it. Michael Jones has 11 points in the first half. Can't leave him. You can absolutely not leave Michael Jones on the perimeter. He is three for three from downtown already. Came in shooting 45%. K.O. pounding his way inside and he scores. David K.O. said mouse in the house. Get out of the way. I'm coming in. Jones another three, he's on fire! Michael Jones, 14 points! I was about to say, that, that thing better go up towards the hoop. You're three for three, if you're open at all, you gotta shoot that thing. He has been spectacular. Four for four from downtown for Jones, keeping Davidson in front, Sherrod step back three. This is gonna be a good one, folks. Shooting all over the place. They're shooting the lights out. It's like the OK Corral. The 11th for Sherrod. Watson to the rim. Watson blocked and foul. No oh, traveling. Traveling another turnover. When we return, we're going to talk about the 50, 40, 90 club. Davidson has. And tonight's helping him. <laughs> yeah. how, how, do, how do you shoot 45% and then you actually are going to go up? I mean, it's up to 48%. It, it, yeah. I did the math in the time. Oh, man. You, listen, that was impressive, Robert. But he's, he's on fire. I mean, he's been absolutely great early in this game. Now, the name that people aren't going to know on the NBA list of 50, 40, 90 guys, Malcolm Brogdon did it, hmm. which is just one of those anomalies because the rest of the names are all Hall of Famers. Kevin Durant, Steve Nash to the rim, laying it up and in. Gustafsson. 
Larry Legend, of course. We're here at the Robin Center in Richmond, Virginia, the capital of Virginia. Robert Lee and Noah Savage with you on this Friday night. Atlantic 10 matchup. Davidson has led the whole way. Jones, unconscious. <laughs> Michael Jones is out of his mind. He's got 17 points. He, he wasn't even open. He <laughs> caught it. It's going up. And you love it. He is in the zone. This I don't is know it. how many heaters you went on. You were a 37% career three-point shooter. But when you're in the zone like that, I mean, what's the feeling? I mean, not some heaters. But it feels great. You, you can't wait to get back on the offensive end to get the rock. And, you know, keep firing it up there until someone says, all right, calm down. How does Richmond... I mean, he's got a hand in his face here. How does Rickman try to slow him down as Boyer goes to the rim and scores? He's got six. And some extracurricular activity, but... You know, here's, here's Michael Jones. Watch him. Do you think he's open here? He's not really that open. He's just, he's just letting it fly. Shooting that over six-foot-seven Tyler Burton. Jones's career high was 21 earlier this year. It came in their huge win over number 10, Alabama. He may hit that in the first half. Golden and Brekovic, big man matchup. Golden high off the window, rebounded by Lawyer. Lawyer crosses over and missed the three. Brekovic the rebound. Jones! Oh, he is! out of his mind six three-pointers for Michael Jones he has 20 points this is unreal Sherrod trying to answer he does 14 for Sherrod right, now Davidson's got to find him got to get the rock back to number 13 First and 90? Yeah, I mean, let's go. This is what we <laughs> thought it would be. Down low, Lee lays it up and in off the feed from Jones. Lee has the 11. And how about the cutting for Hunjun Lee? It's been spectacular. Two back doors, a curl. So he gets those easy layups as well as the three-point shots. Sherrod, he check off the mark. Very quiet is Burton. He's only had one point so far. He comes up short there, defended well by who else? Michael Jones. Michael Jones is a fourth-year junior from Woodbury, Minnesota, Twin Cities area. Averaged five and a half points his first two seasons, up to 12 and a half this year as a junior. You know, in talking to the Davidson coaches, they talked about his shot preparation. He's been prepared to shoot the ball every time he's caught it. He's in the corner right now, guarded by Burton. They double lead, down low, wide open. Brekovic lays it in. Beautiful offense, final five seconds. Gilliard all the way to the rim, lays it up and in. 13 for Gilliard, that's the end of a sensational first half. Man, talk about shooting, passing, veteran leadership. He shot 50% from the field and was dramatically outshot by Davidson, 67%, including 64% from downtown. Incredible shooting for the Wildcats in the first half. What's the key for each team to start the second half? Well, if you're looking at it from Richmond's perspective, they got to step up their perimeter defense, obviously, and, and force Davidson to put it on the ground. And then for Davidson, they don't have to make an adjustment per se, but no letdown. They have to keep this up and not relax and let Richmond get back into the game on the offensive end. Hun Jun Lee picked up the foul on the first possession for Richmond. His first foul of the game. Gilliard the three. It's good. 15 points for Jacob Gilliard to lead the Spiders. Sherrod had 14. Jones with 20 in the first half for Davidson. Hun Jun Lee had 11. Yeah, just like that because of the great layup at the end of the first half. And then great execution out of bounds under by Jacob Gilliard. Two possession game for Richmond. Richmond never led in the first half. Davidson led the whole way. This is Menenga. Nifty move off glass and in. First two of the game for Sam Menenga. Wow, looks like a little deadlift shrimp. Maybe a, a Dwayne Wade show and go. What a move. Driving to the rim. KO 
Couldn't get the roll. Lee clears the glass. They didn't finish, but it was a great read. All the Davidson defense was above the foul line. He had that baseline wide open. Michael Jones, number 13, being guarded by Tyler Burton. Burton, Richmond's leading scorer, had one point in the first half. Brykovic pounding bodies and missed the shot. Golden, the rebound. I think he got away with a little hook inside with the extension of the left arm. Golden pounding his way in the other way off glass and draws the foul on Brykovic. His first Golden will go to the line. Now, it'd be great if in the second half after that three-point shooting barrage, both coaches say we're not doubling anybody and these guys just play one-on-one -on -one in the post. And that's a great spin move by Grant Golden. And it's the right call because Brykovic wasn't vertical and came down. But that, that we might see that. We might see that where nobody's going to double team the post the rest of the game because both teams are on fire from the perimeter. For the first time ever, we've got a regular season NCAA gymnastics meet on ABC. Perennial Powers, Alabama, and Florida square off Sunday afternoon in front of a packed house in Gainesville. Our coverage starts at 3 Eastern, noon Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Golden makes two. And Richmond continues to climb closer. Have never led in this game. An early 14-0 Davidson run. They have led the entire game. And not out of bounds. Another turnover. The 10th for Davidson already over their season average. It's, it's weird because in, in some way they're playing so well, but then they just have an unforced turnover every couple possessions. It's almost scary to think if they had cut those turnovers in half, how many points they'd have right now. They could be up over 60 already to start the second half. Ifs and buts going to the rim and drawing another foul. Back to the line. The Spiders, Gilliard, will head there. And he's just been so consistent. Reading the defense, seeing what's there. He's shot the three when he's open. Right there, he's got Foster Lore. He wants to take him one-on-one. -on -one. Gets into the paint, and Foster Lore not happy with the call, but I think he got him with the forearm trying to keep him out of the paint. Gilliard, 83% from the line. Now, I might be in trouble because Jacob Gilliard said he might want to do sports broadcasting after he's done <laughs> playing, and I think he's got it. He's got a great personality. He, he really gave us a lot when we hung out with him at, at shoot-around, and, and he's a great young man. And I said, hey, man, you, you got all the tools, but I think he can play for a long time after he's done here. His name is all over the Richmond record books. The career leader in three-pointers, assists, and steals. Now has 16 points to lead his team. Down by just four. First touch for Michael Jones. And interesting, they have Gilliard on Jones on that possession. Foul called against the Spiders. And Isaiah Wilson's jumping around like he didn't commit a foul, but he, he wrapped two hands right around Lee's waist. It's an easy call, and that... That's how good of a cutter Hunjun Lee is, is that you're, you're going to naturally start to grab him and hold him because he, he just flies all over the court. He misses the three. Rebound volleyed off the backboard to KO. Gilliard high dribble into the front court. Burton has been very quiet. How do they get him on track? Well, he's just got to take good shots. And right there, great cut. Lost it on the way up. Gets it back. Still 10 on the shot clock. Golden to the rim. Lays it up and in. Eight points for Grant Golden. Coming up on 2,000 for his career. And it's a two-point game. It's great. It's just trickery, a little deception, and all of a sudden he pushes through and gets himself a layup. Lawyer comes up short. Offensive rebound to Menenga, and he's fouled. Right here, this is what we talk about with a grad student coming back for one more campaign. Fake the handoff, push through all of a sudden, get yourself a layup. And that's set up by his earlier work, handing it off, passing, and screening. And then when you see that opening, boom, go to the hoop. Golden, despite being six foot ten, fifth all time in assists at Richmond, tack onto that. He's also eighth in blocks. And he now has 1,993 oh. career points. Here comes Richmond. And there he is. Jacob Gilliard, the all-time leader in D1 history with a steal. 
That's his first of the game. At the other end, it's out of bounds to Davidson. No, it stays with him. It should be out of bounds to Davidson. Davidson comes in on a 12-game winning streak, which is tied for the longest in the country right now with Auburn. They're 13-2 and two overall. It's their best start in 52 years as Golden will go to the bench just ahead of the media timeout. And it's the longest winning streak they've had in eight seasons. Went back when they were in the SoCon. Full court press. I mean, they're great. They, they really play well together. And the offensive firepower and what that gives you when you shoot it that well from the outside is that you can't help as much. You just can't help off of anybody on Davidson. Gilliard, another steal. Just picked the pocket of Brekovic. Sherrod steps into a three. Got the roll. Richmond takes the lead. First time tonight, 50 to 49. Sherrod, a season high, 17. Michael Jones yet to get a shot up this half for Davidson. And it was Gilliard sparking the defense with a couple of steals. Awkward sequence. Turnover. Gilliard on the run. Ahead for Burton. One-on-one -on -one with Jones. He's fouled hard. Burton will go to the line after a timeout. Robin Center rocking here. Richmond leads it fifths all over their floors. It buried in a closet somewhere. He said, oh, no, I'm a pretty neat person. It's sitting on a stand in a case in the corner of my bedroom. So he's taking good care of that ball. Yeah, I was like, listen, man, when you fly home with that ball, you don't check that thing. You carry that on. You put it through the x-ray machine, and you bring that with you. You do not risk checking that ball. Tyler Burton. The leading score for Richmond knocks down two. He's got three points, averages 18 a game. And Richmond has opened up now its biggest lead of the game, three points. And this press has been really good for Richmond. Even when they don't get a steal, they have to guard for less time in the half court. 10-0 run for the Spiders to take their first lead of the game. Richmond picked second in the preseason poll. Davidson has been a surprise. They were picked sixth as the ball is tipped out of bounds. Stays with the Wildcats with 12 to shoot. Well, look at Nick Sherrod. He can't believe it because he read that rolling double on the baseline, and he was just a fraction of a second late on that steal. He thought he had a fast break layup going his way. Michael Jones has yet to take a shot in the second half. He had 20 points in the first half and a whistle away from the ball. And I thought Foster Lawyer was going to score on that play. He had the whole side isolated. Everybody was on the left side of the floor for Davidson. So that actually probably hurt Davidson, who's about to score. Davidson has only four shot attempts this half. They have turned it over four times. So if they could stop the turnover issues, they could get back to shooting at that high percentage that they did in the first half. Ten on the shot clock. Lawyer floating jumper. It's good. Foster Lawyer with eight points, averages 16 a game. And he's right over that three-point line, but he, he's much harder to guard than, than you think he is when you watch him on TV because he's so quick to get that ball up. He just needs a little fraction of a second. Burton Ooh. downhill to the rim, blocked by Bochi Yeadham. Foster Lawyer is the Atlantic 10 Player of the Week this week, the third different Davidson player to win that already this year, Lee and Brekovic as well. Yeah, right, right there, I mean, Jacob Gilliard's all over, and he still hit that pull-up right in his face. He was a huge scorer in high school and started his career at Michigan State. Burton's starting to heat up. He's got six points. You see the huge increase in production for Lawyer. Three years at about nine minutes a game, and he has exploded this year. Tyler Burton starting to feel it a bit. Yeah, I mean, Foster Lawyer, look for him to look for a shot in the second half, but Burton, it's not like he played poorly early in the game. He was taking good shots. He just wasn't having them fall, and I think getting to the free throw line is a way to get yourself going, and certainly, once you're able to knock down a three, you're going to feel a little bit better about yourself if you're Tyler Burton. 14 turnovers now for Davidson. As they're talking about Burton as an NBA prospect. I love him as an NBA prospect, and, you know, we don't want to get too outrageous with our claims, but take a look at his stats this year and, and take a look at Clay Thompson's college stats. I mean, he's, he's physically gifted enough to play in the league. 
and I think he's skilled enough. It's just a matter of him rising up those charts as this season goes along, and I, I fully expect him to keep shooting up the NBA draft boards. There are roughly 10 NBA scouts here tonight to see a host of different players as a foul will be called against Davidson. It's caught on Pochi Edom, his second, as there's been definitely more fouls here in the second half than there were in the first, which was very cleanly played. I like this little point guard battle that's developing between Foster Lawyer and Jacob Gillier. They're really competing against each other. Two players that wear the number zero. Off-balance jumper for Gilliard. He's got 18. Which is a season high. He had really been struggling just about five points a game over his last five. And shooting very poorly from three-point range. Three out of 24 in that span. 13 and a half to go. Terrific one here in Richmond. As the Spiders have their biggest lead of the game. Almost Ooh. another turnover. Bob McKillop is furious on the sideline, yelling at the official Pat Driscoll. Yeah, so Coach McKillop thinks it was a foul. Jacob Gilliard thinks that he stripped him and went off Foster Lawyer's leg. Nobody's happy. Hey, you want to be a ref, Robert? I mean, sometimes, I both, sometimes both coaches are yelling at you at the same time. Four on the shot clock in a difficult spot to inbound from the corner. Four to shoot. Warrior weaving his way to the rim gets it up on the rim offensive rebound Menenga Third opportunity for Davidson and a foul on Burton. It was a great play by Foster lawyer with four on the shot clock to not shoot a Fadeaway three or a prayer shot. He got into the paint and he figured out a way to get it up on the rim And that's what let Sam Menenga keep that ball alive And that's what we talk about with basketball IQ. It's knowing situations and just over and over again making the right decision and that's what Davidson does Davidson and Joe Lunardi's latest bracketology and number 10 seed as the automatic qualifier from the Atlantic 10 Currently ranked number 38 in the net rankings this morning Jones Will go to the line Trying to score his first point of the second half So Richmond all over Michael Jones on the perimeter and He does the right thing here Realizes he's got a little drive to the right side. And he's going to head to the line, but that's what you got to do as a player. When you're, you're in the zone, of course you want to keep looking for your three-point shot. But you know you can set up your drive in the second half if you're six for six from the three-point line. Tomorrow it's a college basketball triple header on ESPN and the app. It starts with number 22, Tennessee. At Rupp Arena in Lexington to take on Oscar Shibwe in number 18, Kentucky. Coverage starts at 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Michael Jones is a 92% free throw shooter. He missed the first. He'll make one out of two and is now tied a career high with 21 points. But the number Shibwe is putting up. Unreal. Uh, uh, half man, half mountain. 17 points per game, 15 rebounds. And, of course, Kellen Grady, the great Davidson player who transferred down to Kentucky along with Ty Ty Washington. That's going to be a great game. But Shibwe had 30 recently. I mean, he's been absolutely dominant, and, and his offensive game has gotten much better this year. Golden quick turn and fire. Jones the rebound. Grady scored over 2,000 points for Davidson in a career that ended last year. He's shooting 45% from three for the Kentucky Wildcats, not the Davidson Wildcats this year. 12 and a half to go. Lawyer steps into a three. Golden all alone for the rebound. And I think Sam Menenga can, can take it right there. No, no double team was coming. Try to get into the paint and get something going if they're not going to double team you. Unusual, unforced turnover for Grant Golden. Yeah, he saw, he saw Nathan K Ko, and thought he was going to roll to the basket. That little shack move where you roll off the contact, but they were a little bit out of sorts. Just miscommunicated on that play. Davidson has five points, almost remarkably, in the second half. They scored 47 points in the first half. They have five points in the first eight minutes of the second half. They're down by five. Yeah, clearly, Coach Mooney said 
we're going to win this thing on the defensive end if we if we win this game and their intensity has been great in the second half Huffman was in amongst the trees with two on the shot clock one to shoot gets it away and scores first two of the game for Grant Huffman a sophomore from the Cleveland area he completely lost his footing on that shot and somehow was able to get that up to the rim and make it but that, that was awkward Gilliard left corner three bang 21 points for Jacob Gilliard double his season average how great has he been I mean from the opening jump shooting the basketball pressuring the point guard getting steals He's in the top 10 all-time at Richmond and scoring as well over 1700 career points Moyer is fouled Crowd can't believe it will send us to a break KO his second of the game Jacob Gilliard having a big night the fifth year grad on ESPN 2 Richmond has outscored Davidson 21 to 7 a true football score on this big NFL playoff weekend Starting tomorrow, we're in the capital of Virginia on this Friday night. Good matchup between these two Atlantic 10 rivals. Young Jun Lee is back in the game. He's fouled on a three. Isaiah Wilson is third foul of the game. And, and it's the right idea by Isaiah Wilson. You've got to run and hunt Jun Lee. But obviously you can't make contact like that. He jumped, he jumped to the right side. You've got to jump to that shooting hand. But again, can't hit the guy. Lee started the game hot with seven points early. He now has 12. Our jam-packed January rolls on Sunday with the Spanish Super Cup final and the start of the Australian Open. Monday, it's the first ever Monday Night Wild Card NFL playoff game between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. UFC 270 is also coming up on Saturday the 22nd. What a great sports month. Ton of everything coming up this month across the networks of ESPN and on ABC. Robert, is there anything better to happen than ESPN Plus? <laughs> it's a college fantastic. basketball. You go back, you can watch all the games, you get them archived, you can watch six, seven games at the same time. It's awesome. One app, one tap, right? Exactly. Three free throws for Lee to cut the lead in half. Gilliard thought about the three. KO. One on one with Brykovich. Awkward shot is up and in. Six points for Nathan Ko. It went one way, nothing there. Went back the other way, and it was great leg strength to keep his balance. There he is. Welcome back, Michael Jones. Seventh three-pointer of the game, career high, 24 points. First of the second half, however. Seven for seven. Now Curry, Steph Curry, hit nine in a game twice. Robert. Gilliard. Oh, he answers. 24 for Jacob Gilliard to match Jones's 24. Jones has got to get a shot up here. You can't let Gilliard show you up like that. They're not guarding each other now also. Huffman. Four bonus points off the bench. Bench for Grant Huffman. He averages three points a game. Yeah, really great. Sweeping hook layup off the glass. Gilliard's career high is 31. He has 24. I like this for Richmond. Playing through KO in the post. No double team coming. Eight on the shot clock. Out of bounds. With the Spiders. With six to shoot. How about this little game within the game? Michael Jones. Absolutely unconscious seven for seven and then Jacob Gilliard off the dribble step back oh. I mean, how, how fun has this game been Robert this has been better, better than ever better than advertised and Jacob Gilliard has been better than advertised It wasn't for Michael Jones not mentioning a shot on the perimeter. I mean look at this eight for ten from the field and he, He's been really the key why Richmond came back in this game Timeout, Richmond. They are about to have a five-second violation. This will also extend to a media timeout. Coaches love defense. He's just been a shot maker tonight, whether it's behind the three-point arc or in the paint with some tough finishes. He has been a star for Richmond. 
8 out of 10 from the field for 24 points. This is a big night in the Atlantic 10. VCU lost at St. Bonaventure tonight. If you're enjoying this, you see a lot of A-10 basketball coming up on ESPN. Gilliard, as the shot clock ran out, rebounded by Lawyer. The A-10 has 15 consecutive NCAA tournaments with multiple bids, and they sent a team to the Sweet 16 in seven of the last 13 years. Lawyer, a chance for a three-point play. And what, what toughness by Foster Lawyer he found the spot and he kind of felt that Jacob Gilliard was was trailing him So he knocked it down and he felt the contact from behind and won from about 18 feet Foster Lawyer is a 91% free throw shooter Second in the league behind his teammate Michael Jones 92% 11 points for Lawyer and this is the first time we've been tied since it was 2-2. Nine minutes to go. 65s on each side for Davidson and Richmond. Richmond has beaten Davidson three in a row. Seven of the last nine. Golden. He'll go to the line. Brykovic didn't like the call. It's his second foul of the game. And it's hard to guard anybody in the post if you give them three or four dribbles. But certainly it's really difficult if that guy is Grant Golden. And Brekovic is frustrated, but it's it's more a case of you can't really guard anybody in the post if you give them that many dribbles. Golden will have two shots. Davidson comes in on a 12-game winning streak, which is tied with Auburn for the longest in the country right now after Baylor and USC lost earlier this week. First going for their first 4-0 start in the league since joining it eight years ago and looking for their first win over Richmond in a couple of years. And Auburn's great. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're giant. Walker Kessler, 7'1". Mm. Jabari Smith, 6'10". And then Wendell Green at 5'11". It is unbelievable off the dribble. They're, they're a team that could easily make the Final Four. And I think these two teams can have deep runs in the NCAA tournament as well. Chris Mooney wanted the call on Lee as Richmond has retaken the lead with eight and a half to go. Foul. Oh, he was on the sideline. Bad turnover for Davidson. Their 14th. Uncharacteristic for the offensively proficient Wildcats. They're shooting 60% from the field and losing Davidson at, or Richmond at 52%. Sherrod open three. Lawyer swoops in for the board. Bullet pass. Lee spots up for three. Count it. Beautiful looking transition, 17 for Lee. They looked like Steve Nash. One handed off the bounce across the D. That was spectacular. Davidson takes the lead, returning it at the other end. Golden lays it in. Three points shy of 2,000 for his career, as so many of them have been off the feed from Gilliard. Lee well off the mark there, but an offensive rebound for Brekovic. Lawyer open three. In and out. Fight for the board. Gilliard saves it inbounds to Sherrod. Gilliard on the run into the front court for the Spiders. Three from the corner. Golden saves it back inbounds to Gilliard. Golden hook shot. Well off the mark. Both teams a little gassed here. Yeah, just finally missing some shots, but they've been feeling it the entire game long, and the last seven minutes here might be a little bit more of a slugfest, but they got to grind it out. Lawyer under the rim. Oh, shoot that reverse. Rykovic way off. Foul on the rebound against Richmond. Davis right here. Running in transition. How about this pass? Bullet pass right off the drip. The magic number is 14. We got so, a, a Duke fan in the building. Right. Where did he, he sneak in? This is spider country, man. Could take that sweatshirt off. NC or Richmond has three wins this season where they were down by 14 points or more. North Carolina Central, Hofstra, and Toledo. They were down 14 in the first half tonight, trying to make it four wins. No coach would choose to play that way, but it speaks to their stick to itiveness. Uh, and. The shooting's been so much better in the second half. Five for eight from three. 
50% from the field. And, you know, Davidson didn't miss a shot for the first four minutes of the game, basically. And you knew that Richmond was going to have a run because they're too good of a team to just come in and, and not make a run and come back in this game. Manenga, one out of two, ties the game at 69 with 6.50 to go. Gilliard, the high scorer for Richmond with 24. Sherrod, bang! Nick Sherrod, season high, 20 points for the local product from down the street. His great patience, takes his time, goes behind the screen, and I just love the pace he plays with. Lee has started to heat up. Michael Jones is out of the game right now for Davidson. Lawyer pull up three. Count it. What a game. Fantastic offense and shooting for both of these teams. Tied at 72. And Foster Lawyer pointed at his own bench, trying to get his teammates into it. Foul is called on Gilliard's drive to the basket. It'll be called against Lawyer, and it'll be one and one for Gilliard. But right here, if you're Nick Sherrod, you got to treat Foster Lawyer like he's you. He, Nick Sherrod's a shooter, so you wouldn't give this shot to yourself. And he just lulls him to sleep and shoots right over the top. You, you have to apply more pressure to Foster Lawyer than that. That's what he wants. He wants to, he'll, he'll shoot a million threes. If you, give him, if you give him 20 looks, he'll shoot all of them. And, and that was just poor defense by Richmond. Gilliard makes the front end. Chris Mooney, the Richmond head coach, described Lawyer as very crafty, a great change of speed. Fits in well with what they do at Davidson. Gilliard having a big night, already a season high. His previous season high was 17. He now has 26 points and gives the Spiders the lead. Right here, a little, little more pressure here from Richmond. Michael Jones is back in the game, had 20 points on six three-pointers in the first half. Now has 24, career high, blocked athletically. Lee swoops in for the board. Jones, fade away three. No good. Finally, Golden the rebound. As Jones finally misses his first three-pointer of the game, he's seven out of eight. And that one hit the back rim and still almost went in. That's how soft his touch is. Sherrod the three. Comes up short on the deep shot. Lawyer the board. Snatches it away from Gilliard. So Davidson needs to get back into their sets. Perpetual motion. Hunjun Lee needs to get a couple touches down the stretch. He's got it here. Coming up on five minutes to go. Lee turning fire. Well off the mark. Rebound. Oh, and he lost it out of bounds. Tough break for Richmond as that would probably ended up as being their ball going out of bounds. But it's a great set by Davidson double screen they got a great shooter a great look at the top of the key in Lee and it's just so tough if you're Richmond now you gotta guard for another 20 seconds here five minutes to go from Richmond in regulation lawyer might have been fouled no travel, travel call there he slid on his back it should have been a travel Jones is bumped and fouled he'll go to the line Foul on Sherrod, it's his third. Right here, watch watch Foster Lawyer. Little little contact, but then he's got the ball. I don't know, actually, on the second look, if he had the ball and was sliding or if it was still technically a dribble. So on, on closer look in super <laughs> slow motion, I can rep as well as the refs. But they got it right in real time. Michael Jones to the line, 92% this season. One out of two tonight. Let's look another another time at this play. Right there, could it could have been a foul, first of all, on Tyler Burton, but he was still dribbling while he was sliding. So I like the no call on the on the no traveling violation. Career high 26 points from Michael Jones, the fourth year junior from Woodbury, Minnesota. Shattering his previous career high of 21 against Alabama earlier this season. Ties the game, under five to go. Gustafson, all the way to the rim, he scores. From Helsinki, Finland has four points to the rim. Brekovic lays it up and in. Back and forth we go. Tied at 76 now. 
Yeah, they, Richmond gets an easy bucket. Davidson comes down and gets an easy bucket. It's punch, counter punch. Two really great teams. Gilliard fouled, and he will. Nope, kickball. Kickball 20 on the shot clock. Davidson into the double bonus. Richmond still in the single bonus. Possession arrow favors Davidson. Both teams with plenty of timeouts left as well. Grant Huffman back in for the Wildcats. He'll replace Bochi Yedem. And Davidson hasn't been bringing a lot of double teams down in the post or on the perimeter. So there's going to be drives available. And I like what Gustafsson did last time and just took that opening. But it's going to be open for Gilliard as well to drive the paint. Tend to shoot. Grace. Gilliard, mid-range jumper, draws the foul. He'll go to the line. With exactly four minutes to go. Coming down the home stretch. A good one here at the Robin Center. 76-70 small. These two teams tied up. Davidson trying to win its 13th game in a row overall. The longest streak in the country. Richmond trying to even its record at 2-2 two two in Atlantic 10 play. And regardless of who wins or loses, you've got to think these are going to be two of the contenders in a very deep Atlantic 10 this year. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, several teams have double-digit victories already. St. Louis with 10, Dayton with 10. Fordham's been good over for, uh, under first-year head coach Kyle Neptune. And then St. Bodies with nine wins already. But these two, I mean, they're, they're not going to play this well every night, but they have just been spectacular and, and shown everybody around the country what type of offensive power, firepower they have. Davidson has been in the league for seven years. The Wildcats have reached the Atlantic 10 tournament semifinals all seven years, and they finished in the top three, three of the last four years in the regular season. Davidson in the black, Richmond in the white jerseys. Lee drives to the rim, hangs in the air. Too strong, rebound fought for. Brekovic couldn't get the roll, tipped up and in. I think Menenga will get credit for it. Now, Hunjun Lee, he never left the area after the drive. He hung around. And he got that little hand up. That was a heads-up play. Great drive to start it off. I think he tapped it in. I think that was Lee. They did give it to Lee. He is 19. Three-pointer is no good. Lee the rebound. Who can make the winning plays down the stretch? Four of the stops. A turnover. And a foul in the open court on Lawyer. Very smart foul, but it's the fourth on Foster Lawyer. In the NBA, they'd call that unimpeded, I believe the term is. A breakaway. They, and they, they may look at it, but right here, Foster Lawyer gets trapped, and he needs some, some pressure release. And Gustafsson with a great steal. But if you'll see, if you'll see underneath, Sam Menanga was out in front. And so this isn't going to be a clear path. Well, they, I was just joking. In the right, NBA, right, right. Yeah. they don't have that in college. Yeah. But. Gustafsson will go to the line just returned from hip surgery in the offseason about a month ago He's two out of two from the line this season and he knocks down the first This is the only meeting in the regular season scheduled between these two schools Davidson will actually be back in town across town at VCU on Tuesday One out of two for Gustafsson. K.O. good work on the glass Burton trying to make it a three-point possession. Tough fadeaway. Very difficult shot. Rebounded by Brekovic. Lawyer now has four fouls. And he's got the ball. Noah's their player. You think Davidson just should concentrate on down the stretch? Well, they don't really they don't really play that ISO game, but Brekovic wanted it down low and they looked him off. And he was wide open on the block, and that's why he just went up and got it. And he's, he's letting Foster Lawyer know, listen, throw it in. He's not going to keep it every time and shoot it. But if, if you're a post guy and you've got the guy on your back, you want that ball. But they have to go back to their stuff, continuous motion, double screens on the baseline. But look at look at Luka Brekovic right here. He rolls right into Kayo. And then right here, before that, before that, action he was wide open before that pick and roll 
Brakovic is a 56% free throw shooter. He makes the first. He's into double figures with 10 points. The foul was on Golden, his first. KO goes out. Sherrod back in. Huffman checks in for Menenga. For Davidson. Again, Brakovic just a 56% free throw shooter. Did make the first. Two big free throws for the senior from Austria. 11 points for Luka Brekovic. Davidson takes the lead. Two and a half minutes to go. Gilliard all alone. Halfway down, rebounded by Jones. Davidson so lucky because they just committed the mortal sin in defense. They left the ball and left Gilliard wide open. Defensive breakdown. They get away with it. Coming up on two minutes to go. Good defensive intensity here by the Spiders. Brykovic down low off glass and in. Beautiful feed from Lawyer. And the ball rolled out to midcourt. They stopped the clock. Yeah, Coach Mooney's hot because he's saying it's the third time that someone's been messing with the ball after the ball goes through. Foster Lawyer says, you just roll, big fella. I'll get it to you off one-handed. And right there, ball goes through, and then Luka Brekovic does touch the ball. So it should be a delay of game warning the first time it happens, so that when it keeps happening again and again, eventually it'll be a tech. But, you know, you can't really mess with the ball if you shoot it after it goes through the hoop, because it slows down Richmond's ability to now push it on the break off a made field goal. Bob McKillop in his 33rd year as the head of the Davidson Wildcats basketball program has his team up by three, under two minutes to go. Richmond needs a spark here. Burton stutter step. Ooh, and a kick ball. Resets the shot clock to 20. They were just trying to get Tyler Burton on a post up. It was a great play by Foster Lawyer. Same question. Who does Richmond go to here? Well, I mean, I'll give you the same. They don't really go to guys, but you're going to play through Grant Golden and let him make a decision. But it's not like they're going to draw up an ISO play. They're still going to play that team basketball. Gustafson lost it. Tapped out to Golden on a lucky break. Ten on the shot clock. Still have a lot of timeouts left, too. Golden will shoot a three for the tie. Probably not the shot they wanted there. Brekovic the rebound. Three-plus minutes without a field goal for Richmond. You know, given that was a broken play, they actually got a pretty good look at it. With a wide open three. Trying to make it a two possession game. Lawyer blocked. Sherrod running the other way. Ooh, Gustafson almost didn't establish in the front court. Instead, it's a miss layup by Golden, and it's out of bounds to Richmond. Bob McKillop and Davidson, I believe, thought that Gustafson did not establish himself in the front court before he caught that pass at midcourt. So, right here. Ooh, absolute, abso I think absolutely should be a backcourt. It ended up going out of bounds after Golden missed the layup. And I believe this is what they're looking at. They can look at this to see if it's a backcourt. They're going to take a look. So they'll go to the monitor. Actually, I think they might be checking to see who the ball went okay. out of bounds off of. Right here. It appears to be off of Brykovic, number 35 for Davidson. Yeah. Again, from that angle, it looks like it's off of number 35 in the black jersey, but we'll see what the officials decide. It was called on the court as Richmond basketball. But and a free timeout for both teams here. Right, and if you're Richmond, you're down three, but knowing that Davidson's in the bonus, you don't have to shoot a three. You can set up a read with Jacob Gilliard and get Grant Golden involved. So you've got several looks at a three or a backdoor or possibly a post or a drive. But you don't have to shoot a prayer force three at all in this situation. There is a ton of time left in this game. And probably what you want to do is get a drive going so that if you do shoot a three, it's off a kick out and it's an open one. 
with as much time as there is in the game left right now. 56 seconds. If Richmond keeps the ball, they'll certainly get the ball back again in all likelihood, barring something unforeseen as Bert Smith is going to come over and give us the call. So I think the referee is asking for the last replay. Is that correct? Because we did have a pretty good angle from our camera, and he's now going to look at our monitor to see if it was out of bounds. We did have a pretty good angle. We'll take a look at it. So Bert Smith's asking for them to run it right back. He's going to go get the other official. Man, we're really getting in the action, right, Robert. Right. They're, they're, I mean, they're stealing my monitor, these refs. <laughs> first, first they call the fouls of me as a player. Now they're stealing my monitor. They want to look again. <laughs> and I think they're either going to bring the other official over to look at this angle or just give it to Richmond. It will be Richmond basketball, which appeared to be the correct call. Yeah, you, I like this as a fan. I like this as a player because, all right, it took a couple, couple minutes. You get the call right. It's a, it's a one possession game. You want to get it right. They did a great job. Richmond with Sherrod. Gilliard. Burton. Richmond with Sherrod. Gilliard. Burton. Golden. Now. And Gustafson. Richmond loves to play that Grant Golden can get it on a handoff situation. A little bit lifted out of the corner. Watch He's the follow. Got it right there. Burton doubled. Golden's all alone for three for the tie. Way off the mark and a foul on the rebound against Gustafsson. Oh, he is not like that. So with 43 seconds left, Davidson a chance to make it a two-possession lead. Right there, just Gustafsson just pushes Foster Lawyer in the back. Easy call, but Grant Golden, you know, he's 19 for 46 from three on the year. The guy, 41%. You know, he's a good shooter. I mean, he's more than a good shooter. He's a great shooter. So, you, you, the last two shots they got were wide open shots for Grant Golden. And you live with that. You get you get a grad student who's been here forever, a wide open three. It's good offense. Unfortunately for Richmond, it puts a 91% free throw shooter at the line. Foster Lawyer. 16 now for Lawyer. And a timeout. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. Davidson has taken a five-point lead with four pain. And you want to do it quickly, but you still don't need a three here. Right. Don't need a three, but you do need to score on this possession. Yeah, because if you don't, it's probably going to get away from you. There's 40 seconds left. Yeah, you take an open three if it's there. Set play out of the timeout. They get it to Burton off a screen, rises for three, and knocks it down in a timeout. Huge shot, beautiful play by Richmond on offense. We'll step aside again. 30 second timeout, 32 seconds left. 56%. If either of them touches the ball, you've got to think they're going to foul. Yeah, and look, Huffman is hiding. He's hiding all the way down the court as just a safety valve. He shouldn't go near the ball for Davidson right now. You got three guys who can really shoot it, they should get the rock. Lee's got it in the corner. They trap him. Almost the steal. It's stolen. Gilliard has it. Fresh possession for Richmond. Shot clock should turn off. The shot clock should be off with 22 seconds left. There's 10 on the shot clock. It should be off at this point. Richmond down two with the ball. Burton to the rim. Burton hangs. Missed the shot. Tipped up and in. Nathan K.O. ties the game with 12 seconds left. basketball at the Robin Center. Atlanta 10 action between Davidson and Richmond. Davidson with Brykovich, Jones, Huffman, Lee, and Lawyer. Final 12 seconds. Davidson has two timeouts left. Final 10 seconds. Down to six. Jones, the hero tonight. Oh, cold-blooded! Three seconds left. Richmond, no timeouts left. Need a three to tie. Gilliard, Inside a half court from 30 for the tie. No good. Michael Jones, 29.